So you're running a tarot channel or you're thinking about running a tarot channel, but you're struggling with the energy and enthusiasm and drive to keep producing content on a consistent in a consistent manner. This is going to be the video for you. I'm sharing three tips to keep it simple spirit and continue you moving forward on your content creation journey. Hello, everybody. My name is Dr. Mystical and welcome to my channel. If you're new or welcome back, if you're returning, hopefully with this video, I earn your trust. So you subscribe and set the alert to be aware of all the great content that we create here at Dr. Mystical Tarot. On this channel, you're going to find live tarot readings. You're going to find pick a card readings. You're going to find deck reviews and flip throughs, and you're going to find tutorials for new tarot beginners. And you're going to find this content around how do we create and continue to create tarot content for YouTube or any social media platform. But let's talk about now how we can absolutely just kind of use the KISS method, keep it simple spirit, and we're going to look at three ways that you can keep your energy, your enthusiasm, and your consistency up on your channel so that you can grow your community here on YouTube or wherever you happen to be streaming. And we're going to look at, again, three tips. So tip number one really is don't rebuild your studio each and every week. I've been streaming for a number of years and I made this mistake for years and years and years. I found that every time I wanted to create content or every time I wanted to do a live stream, I was hampered by having to move my computer from one room or uh, set up lights that I tuck away into other places so that they're not in the way or reconfiguring my microphone or my webcam each and every time. And what I found is that because this is not the, my primary job, that this became a hassle. You work all day, you're very, you're tired or you had a rough day or whatever it might be. Now you've got to go live or now you've got to produce content and you're just not motivated to drag the computer into another room to set up the lights, to get the microphone going. And so one of the things that I do is I have kind of a standard standing studio that's in my house. And so let me show you a little bit about what that looks like. So this is the standard. This is a standing studio that's in my in my uh, in my house. You can see that I set up uh, I set up I have two standing lights, kind of LED panel lights. I'll put all the links to these in the show description below. Uh, they stay where they are. I don't have to drag them out of the closet and reset them up and reconfigure them each and every week. You can see that I've got a webcam set up. You can see kind of off to the lower side, I have another webcam for when I'm doing live readings. I use a dual multicam method, but it's 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 set up and it's stable and it's right where it needs to be. You can see the boom mic with the blue snowball microphone, the keyboard, the monitor. This is literally a sit down and stream type of a setup. I as soon as my show come as soon as my show or my videos are ready to go, I absolutely just um, sit down at my desk, do the work, and and I'm done with it. And that has helped me maintain my energy and my enthusiasm for continuing to produce content. Again, if it's hard, you're gonna find you might have the enthusiasm in the beginning, but when it gets difficult or when it's a hassle, you're gonna find yourself not wanting to create content that day. And that day is gonna turn into that week or later on in the weekend, and you're gonna find yourself being inconsistent. And that's gonna be the thing that um, doesn't help your community grow on YouTube or anywhere. The next tip for kind of keeping it simple spirit is to dedicate some time to do your video content and batch as much as you can. So for me, because this isn't the um, this isn't the main thing that I do, it's it is my side hustle like it is for so many other tarot channels here on YouTube. I need to dedicate time to getting content built and and kind of in my inventory, in my schedule, so that it continues to populate YouTube and, and other platforms consistently through the week. And so you're hearing consistently, pretty consistently, but dedicate some time to batching. So what I do is my weekends are pretty much set up with implementing all the ideas that I come up with and generate during the week. I keep them in a running book. And then on Saturdays or Sundays or both days, I sit down, I do the streaming, I do the video content work, and I build this in a kind of in a condensed 
piece. So when you're watching this video, it's not the day that I shot it and uploaded it. I dedicate time to it earlier in the week and make sure that it gets up in YouTube in a scheduled manner that makes some sense. So tip number two, dedicate some time to batching your videos. Sit down and just grind the work, and do the tarot review or whatever it is you're going to do and get that going. My third tip to keep it simple, honestly, is stream it. Don't edit it. So if you're a tarot reader, I highly suggest getting into live streaming readings because you can take those apart and you can reuse them in multiple ways. But I, I really do enjoy the kind of streaming platform. I enjoy the streaming aesthetic. And it makes it a lot easier for me to sit down, stream, even though I'm not live streaming this video, I'm using my live streaming platform to do that. And I'm going to put a show, a link in the show description to a platform that I use called StreamYard. Um, it is absolutely a wonderful product. It's simple. It's intuitive. It does not require you to have a, a massive computing background so that it, you can produce high quality videos in a stable environment that are professional, that look good, and you kind of rely on them. In addition, with that link in the show description, I'm going to get, you're going to get a $10 credit if you decide to pay for the paid version, but the free version is perfectly acceptable. And this is the platform I use for the large majority of videos that I produce on the platform. It's professional. The aesthetic is good. I can use different cameras and different angles and you're none the wiser. It also lets me put in overlays and add images or brand the image or whatever it might be. So my tip for number three is to kind of stream it. Don't edit it. That editing is a hassle it, that it takes up a lot of time. If you can just sit down and be natural and stream the content, I think you're going to build some authenticity that your community is going to enjoy. So tip number one, kind of remember here, we're talking about keep it simple spirit. Tip number one, don't rebuild your studio every week. Dedicate a literal physical space in your in your life somewhere where you can set up the light, have the lights permanently set up if you use lights or microphone, cameras, computer, so you're not dragging out your laptop, dragging out your lights each and every week. Honestly, the harder it is, the harder it will be to continue to build your enthusiasm towards producing the content that we're looking forward to. Tip number two, dedicate some time each and every week to doing some batching. Batch a bunch of videos and use a scheduling feature on YouTube to get your content into a regular routine, a pattern on YouTube that your audience can come to expect. And it's going to make your life consider considerably easier because you're not worried about, oh, I got to get home. I got to get this video shot. I got to get it uploaded. I got to monitor the comments. Just dedicate some time to batching your videos. That's a great tip. And tip number three, use a streaming platform like StreamYard, which I've linked in the show description, so that you're streaming video and you're not spending your lifetime in a movie editor or scanning the internet for a free movie editor or shelling out a lot of money for a movie editor. You get, you get the hint. Stream it. Don't edit it. Allow yourself to be authentic. Allow yourself to be who you are in your world and allow yourself just to kind of ease of keeping it simple spirit so you can produce the tarot or spiritual content that you want to produce that your community is coming to expect and helps to grow tarot and spirit on YouTube. Thank you friends for joining me. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. If you've got other any if you've got any tips for keeping it simple spirit, put them in the comments below. I respond to all the comments on my channel and I welcome your ideas and your thoughts. Also, if you have a question about creating tarot channels or YouTube channels or sustaining it, let me know in the comments as well. Those things are great video suggestions and I can make sure that I get the right people around that to answer the question for you. Thank you friends for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe and set the alerts. So you're aware of all the great content we put out like this video, keeping it simple spirit.